and welcome back to part three of EX2 Pirates Database. And now that we did some queries and you found out some information about the 1982 Pirates, what you are going to do is send this database back to me. And you might say, well, how can I do that? Well, what you're going to do is you're going to export it. So when you're ready to export your database, what you're going to do is click on your database. You can click on it over here, or you could click on it here. And it'll, it'll show the table inside there. And you're going to use export. And you're going to click on export. And it says exporting tables, but it will, it will export the whole database. But you don't want to use quick. You actually want to choose custom. And it'll, it'll show you the table that's being exported. It'll show you players there. And when you scroll down, now this may be a little bit different on the Mac version. You, you may have to make sure that this is checked here because sometimes by default it says view output is text and it just shows a text file. But you want to make sure that when you scroll down that you have, it'll, it'll select your table automatically so that's not a problem. But you want to make sure that the bullet, that this little radio button for save output to file, that's the most important thing, that it, it's, your, it's your file that you're, uh, you're going to have. So you're going to save output to file and then as you scroll down, just make sure it says SQL. You don't have to worry about anything else. And uh, keep scrolling down. You don't have to check anything. The only thing that I'll ask you to add is these two under add statements. Just check the first two, the add create and the add drop. Just add those and keep scrolling down. And there shouldn't be anything else to do. I'll double check that again right from the beginning. Make sure you choose custom. Make sure the table is selected. And just click on it. And you could do select all. Actually, you should probably click on it and then make sure save output to file is selected. You don't have to change any settings in there. Make sure it's SQL and that, like I said, when you come down under add statements, the first two, make sure you just check them. They'll help when you re-import it somewhere. So you shouldn't have to do anything else except hit the go button. And when you hit the go button, it will download it. And there it is. It's called pirates1982-home SQL. So it's exporting the SQL file. It's downloading it in your downloads file. So when you go into your downloads, you'll see it there. And here's the last one here in date modified. There it is. And I could even, if I want to copy it or move it, and then I'll go to my documents and I'll go in my database and I'll go in my sample SQL files and I'll just paste it here. And there it is. Now, I don't think you can send it back to me in that format. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to zip it again. So when you compress it again on Windows, in order to send it back to me, you're going to have to right click on it and do send to. I always forget where that's at, but you want to go send to. And then you want to look to compress zipped folder. So we're just going to zip it, send to on Windows. On, on a Mac, you just have to do compress but we have to do send to, and I always forget what that is. So we're gonna do send to, and this is the file that you're gonna send back to me. So then when you go back into e-learning, you're gonna upload that file, because it should be able to send a zip file. It's not a very big file, but when you go back to e-learning, and you come back here, and I'll have some place for you to answer questions about the, uh, about the queries as well, but if you come back to e-learning, and you go into your coursework, you're going to have a place where you're going to be able to upload that. Now, I don't even, I don't have that set up yet. But that's what you're going to do when you're done and that's going to be the end of it. So, and I'll have a little place for you to answer questions about your queries and that'll kind of review kind of importing a CSV file and then exporting it as an SQL so that I can take a look at your SQL file.